Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more and more knowledgeable and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds, and get on a good nutritional supplement program. We can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about our truth treatment products, which are all available at truthtreatments.com, free shipping for the month of December. If you have questions about ingredients, formulations, skin health problems, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, or if you just have a comment or a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, please go to my website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team off the websites as well, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com. For a one-time $25 fee, you can start a longevity business if you're an entrepreneur, if you like helping people, if nutritional supplementation has helped you or your loved ones, if you've seen what nutritional supplementation can do the power of it, and you want to make some money, and you want to work out of your home, and you enjoy the entrepreneur lifestyle, I can think of no better business opportunity than the business opportunity offered by Longevity for a one-time $25 fee. You can join me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Also want to remind you to check out all our Truth Treatment products, our Truth Serum, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and our Truth Transdermal Sea Balm. They're all up at truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com, if you're dealing with accelerated aging, if you're tired of paying for water and filler and thickener and preservative, if you don't want any water and thickener and preservative and fragrance and all the stuff that comes along with your skin health products, and you don't want a lot of skin health products, you don't need to have a bunch of skin health products. If you do it right, if your formulation is right, and you apply your products correctly, you only need one or two products, whether you're dealing with the skin on your eyes or the skin on your butt. That was... uh, As a chemist, as a biochemist, as a formulator, as a therapist, as a clinician, as somebody who's been in the skin health business and studied skin for 30 plus years, it always struck me as odd that we would think that we need a special cream for our eyes and a special cream for our hands and a special cream for our big toe and a special cream for various parts of our body. Skin is skin, people. You don't need a special cream for every part of your body. You need a product that contains the nutrients in high enough concentration and in the correct form that addresses the tissue known as the skin, whether it's on your eye or whether it's on your hand or whether it's on your foot or whether it's on your butt or anywhere else. Skin is skin, and what you need is vitamin C and you need vitamin A, no matter where that skin is. If you're looking for vitamin C and vitamin A to put on your skin, look no further than truthtreatments.com. All our products are loaded with vitamin C, our Truth Retinol. 5% 5% gel has 5% retinol. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our truth treatment products. They're all up at truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com. 
Okay, so we're talking water fluoridation, medicalization of the water, drugging of the water, adding, you know, look, if, if you want fluoride in your water, you should be able to decide, you just go to the store and get fluoride for your water. Why should it have to be in the water supply for all of us to drink? Those of us who don't want to interact with a, the element from hell, as it's been called, that's what fluoride has been, is known as, the element from hell, because it burns so hot. It's so magnetic. It reacts so reactive. It reacts with everything. It's the periodic table's most intense element. Pro-fluoride dentists will tell you that fluoride strengthens your teeth. That is not true. It does not strengthen your teeth. It causes something called fluorosis, which actually weakens your teeth. Now, it may stick to the calcium and may make your teeth more resistant to, to cavities. That is possibly true. Although that's never been shown definitively either, but perhaps that's true. Nonetheless, do we really want to poison in the water in the name of not having cavities? Given the well-known, indisputable, no one argues the fact that fluoride is medicinal, it's pharmacological slash poisonous, it's a drug, and it has all the toxicities that we've been talking about for, for two weeks now. Does anybody really think that making your teeth more cavity resistant is a good thing in, it, by, by, uh, with fluoride is a good thing? It's an industrial waste. It's added to water. It's not good stuff. You're best to stay away from it as, as far away from it as you can. Get a filter. Get a rain softer reverse osmosis filter. Drink distilled water. It accumulates in the body, so make sure you're doing chelation therapy if you can or using chelating nutrients like selenium and sulfur. Chelating will magnetically pull uh, fluoride out of your body. Bentonite clay will do that. Zeolite will do that. Use lymphatic drainage techniques. All the good things we talk about on this program. Stay away from the toxins in general. Reduce toxic load. Use supplements. On our last program, we talked about the relationship between fluoride and cancer. It causes damage to DNA. That's also indisputable. Dr. Wolfgang Klein, this is from the book, The Fluoride, The Aging Factor, by the way, great book, classic book, by Dr. John Yamoylanis. I think that's how he says it. Yamoylanis. Hard to pronounce that one. Dr. Wolfgang Klein and his co-workers at Siebersdorf Research Center in Austria reported that just one part per million, that's one-seventh of the amount that's in uh, that's in most municipal water supplies. Remember, seven parts per million or so. So uh, They reported that one part per million, one-seventh of what's in our water supply can inhibit DNA repair enzymes by 50%. Fluoride inhibits DNA repair enzymes. When, when fluoride inhibits DNA repair enzymes, you can expect to have, and this is from a quote from the book, an increase in genetic and chromosome damage. So you're looking at a likely carcinogen. The good doctor, Ya'a Moylanis, also the author of a paper called Fluoride, a Modern Toxic Waste, presents research that even the tiniest amounts of fluoride can increase tumor growth rates by 25%. It can produce melanoma tumors. It can transform no normal cells into cancer cells. It can increase the cancer potential, uh, cancer potential, cancer causing potential of other carcinogens and our water is loaded with carcinogens loaded packed with carcinogens make no mistake about it according to research biochemist and former chief of cell chemistry at the national cancer institute a guy named dr dean burke he did studies on rats who drank fluoridated water fluoride ingestion increased uh, caused an increase in tumors especially tumors of the thyroid remember fluoride is especially problematic for the thyroid and the bone and the liver Dr. Burke estimates the fluoridation had caused, and this was in 1977 when he wrote his paper, I'm sure the numbers are higher now, but in 1977 he estimated that fluoridation was causing 10,000 cancer deaths a year. Other studies have linked uh, fluoride-containing drugs, like SSRIs, yes, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors like Effexor and Zoloft, best-selling drugs, the best-selling antidepressant drugs, and among the best-selling drugs in the country and in the world every year. Studies have linked the fluoride and SSRIs to uh, incidence of bre increased incidence of breast cancer. Now, I don't know if it's necessarily the fluoride in the SSRIs, but SSRIs are associated with, a, or taking SSRIs are associated with an increase in the incidence of breast cancer. If you're on an SSRI, you should know that. 
All right, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, and we do have lines open for you. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll take a commercial break and come back with more good health information right after this. On the bright side, I am Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We do have lines open for you, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or longevity business, fluoride, hypothyroidism, iodine, health challenges you were a loved one, maybe dealing with skin health questions. I've been in the skin business for 35 years. I know a little bit, I would say, about the skin and formulations and ingredients. I've been in the skin biz business as a clinician, as a therapist, as a formulator, as a researcher, as a pharmacist. And in all these ways, I've gotten, via all these ways, I've, I've got this unique perspective on the skin. And that, I love the skin. Favorite organ in the body is the skin. And it, it, it's just crazy to think about all the dynamism that's located just underneath the surface, underneath the surface of the skin, which looks so inert and dull and boring, just sitting there, is a living, throbbing, viable organ that's doing all kinds of things. That's why you gotta be really respectful of what you put on the skin, and that's why we have the ability to leverage the skin. That's why we have the ability to help heal the skin because it's already healing. The, the activity of healing is built into the skin just as it's built into the body. The activity of healing is part and parcel of our physical natures. We heal, we recover, we grow, we repair. Chronic degenerative progressive diseases, diseases that do not get better by definition, not only on the skin, but everywhere in the body should not happen. They represent something going awry in the system, and that's true for everything as, as benign, as, as mild as acne, to as deadly as cancer. The body heals itself from cancer as it heals itself from acne. You know, most people have cancer in their bodies by the time they're in their 50s or 60s. They have cancer cells all over their bodies. But it's just some people, some environments that allow that cancer cell to grow and to develop into a tumor. It's not the cancer cell, it's not the genetic mutation necessarily that's causing the problem. It's the environment that the body, that the, the genetic mutation is in that the cell is in. It's the body itself, it's the soil that the cancer cell is growing in. That's the problem. You change the soil, the cancer cell won't grow. That's what we should be focusing on. Of course, our modern medical model doesn't do that. It always focuses on the, cell, the, the area where the problem seems to be. Where the problem seems to be is not where the problem is. That's a general rule of thumb in how you heal and how you address healing. All right, so we're talking 844-236-6010 is our number. We do have lines open. We're talking fluoride. This is from the book Fluoride, The Aging Factor. The fall, uh, these are, by, by the way, most countries don't fluoridate their water, and most countries don't have dental problems. It's not like people's teeth are falling out of their head in Belgium and in China and in Japan and in Luxembourg and in all the other countries, uh, uh, Austria and uh, the Czech Republic and Denmark and Finland and France and Germany, Hungary and India, Israel. These are all countries, uh, these are all countries that have said that they're not gonna put fluoride in the water supply. And do we have their, t are, are Norwegians teeth rotting out of their head and, uh, and, and people in Japan and Luxembourg? I don't think so. I don't think so. It's not like fluoride is all that in a bag of chips for your, for your teeth, put it that way. But what it definitely is, is toxic. Period. No argument there. It's a toxic substance. From the book Fluoride, the Aging Factor, these are, these are uh, uh, studies that have all shown genetic damage, uh, shown the uh, uh, fluoride's uh, effect on the genes, damaging effect on the genes. 1973 study in Russia, 1974 study at Columbia University, 1978 study at Pomeranian Medical Academy in Poland. These are all studies that have found that fluoride causes genetic damage. They're all research institutes that have produced studies that showed that uh, fluoride causes genetic damage. National Institute of Dental Health, United States, Institute of Botany, Baku in Russia, USSR, USSR University of Missouri. I'm not gonna go through the list, but it's long. It's a long list of genetic da of studies and institutes that have shown, research institutes that have shown that fluoride causes genetic damage. 
Then, then there's a the whole issue of the thyroid. Remember, hypothyroidism is the jumping off point to all chronic degenerative disease. All chronic diseases, heart disease, autoimmunity, cancer, they all are uh, secondary. They all follow hypothyroidism. Actually, I'll put it this way. They're all associated with hypothyroidism. You don't have a degenerative disease without having hypothyroidism, without having a poorly functioning thyroid. Don't waste your time getting your thyroid checked. You don't need to have your thyroid checked. If you're symptomatic in a chronic sense, that is your disease is getting worse, your symptoms are not improving, rest assured, your thyroid is involved. And if you're ingesting tap water or you're eating foods which may, uh, that are made with tap water, which is pretty much everything, so we're all ingesting fluoride, there's a good chance uh, that the fluoride has at least something to do with uh, how well your thyroid is functioning. I don't want to go, I'm not going to go as far as to say there's causes by hypothyroidism, but it certainly doesn't help. help. Fluoride is a halogen. It's an iodine lookalike, and it can disrupt the functioning of thyroid hormone. And if you're ingesting large amounts of this stuff, it's hard to imagine that fluoride toxicity is not at least a partial cause of your problem. Hypothyroidism is now officially an epidemic. Not coincidentally, it has become a significant problem since the 1940s, which is, hmm, when we started fluoridating the water. In fact, it's very difficult to distinguish between hypothyroidism and fluoride toxicity. The whole, uh, the whole syndrome of hypothyroidism, the, the, the fatigue, the tiredness, the, just the, the lack of motivation, lack of drive, all of that that's, that's representative of hypothyroidism is also representative of fluoride toxicity. They're basically the same kind of thing from a symptomatic point of view. When you feel tired all the time, if you've got chronic fatigue, if you've just got a lack of motivation, you're just blah, 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 you're just sitting around, don't feel like doing anything, fluoride toxicity could easily be involved. Hypothyroidism, excess estrogen, adrenal fatigue, fluoride toxicity, these all show up the same way in terms of, uh, in terms of the nervous system, in terms of the central nervous system. Fluoride's fatigue-inducing effects, its lethargy-inducing effects, is a manifestation of its neurotoxicity. It's a classic neurotoxin. Fluoride is a classic neurotoxin. It, it, it exerts some of its main toxicity on the brain and the central nervous system. In fact, this is where the biological effects of fluoride were really first noticed in the 1930s and 1940s in Nazi Germany, in concentration camps and in the ghettos of Nazi Germany. And around the same time here in the good old United States of America, it was the aluminum industry, specifically the Alcoa company, that was responsible for, for this whole idea of fluoridation. In the name of helping our teeth, of course, in the name of preventing cavities, one has to ask, why would the aluminum industry be so fascinated with preventing cavities? Why would they be so intense on preventing cavities that they would spend billions of dollars to convince the government that we needed to put fluoride in the water because they wanted to take care of their customers' teeth. How lovely, Alcoa. How nice of Alcoa to want to spend billions of dollars to convince the government, to lobby the government to put fluoride in the water for our teeth. Hmm. Gotta love the folks at Alcoa. So after World War II, this guy, Charles Elliot Perkins, he's a researcher in chemistry, biochemistry, uh, pathology. He was just a general, sci general biological researcher. He was, he went, the Alcoa company paid for him to go to Germany to check out the IG Farben plants. These are the same plants that produced uh, chemical war, war, uh, chemi that were responsible for the chemicals used in World War I as well as in the concentration camps. We'll finish up and come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back after this. Back on the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have lines open for you. We'll get your calls here in uh, just a moment. I want to finish, and I don't want to be talking so much about fluoride here, and I want to get into some of the things you could do about fluoride, but there's just so much to say. So I'll probably just do it for a couple more days. Uh, tomorrow, we'll continue talking about the uh, Charles Perkins, who is a research scientist who was sent to Germany by the Alcoa company, by, uh, by the aluminum industry, or at least partially paid for by the aluminum, uh, aluminum industry to study IG Farben. 
or to work, not to study IV farbin, but to take charge of IV, uh, IV farbin. Our IV farbin is the famous chemical company that was responsible for making nerve gases and other toxic chemicals that were used on civilian populations and concentration camp victims in the 1930s and 1940s, probably in World War I as well. And what Mr. Perkins discovered was that the purpose behind this water fluoridation uh, that was uh, that was being uh, that was taking place in Germany in Europe in the or in Germany in the 1930s and 1940s. The purpose was not for anybody's teeth, obviously, but it was to reduce the resistance of the masses to control, to domination, to uh, occupation. And he found that even the tiniest this is what Perkins found when he studied um, I.G. Farben's records and and did the research, he found that even the tiniest amounts of fluoride, when ingested on, over uh, of the long term, chronically, would reduce the individual's power to resist authority. And he wrote a letter in 1954 to the Lee Foundation for Nutritional Research, and I'll tell you about that tomorrow as we continue talking about fluoride, and uh, fluoride toxicity and hypothyroidism. And, and, and fluoride's especially deadly neurotoxic role, how it works in the brain, that's really, to me, that's really, a, that's the most insidious of all of fluoride's effects. Fluoride's a toxin for everything in the body, but its effect on the brain is really, especially a part of the brain called the pineal gland. We'll talk about that tomorrow on the bright side. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number from the, issue, uh, from the December 20th issue of Neurology. One serving of leafy greens a day may slow brain aging by 11 years. Hmm, how do you like that? Leafy greens are loaded with all kinds of nutrients. I remember my dad used to call leafy greens rabbit food. He, he was, he's, my dad used to say, you gotta eat meat three times a day. And he was not a big, when I grew up, it wasn't, we didn't eat a lot of greens and a lot of veggies. A lot of people still think of lettuce as rabbit food and cabbage as rabbit food. Leafy greens don't look like much, but they are so packed with nutrients and nutrients that you wouldn't even think about being in green leafy greens. Nutrients like vitamin E and omega fatty acids are, are, are nature's richest source. Among nature's richest sources of these substances are leafy greens. They don't look fatty. You don't think there's a lot of fat in those leafy greens, but there is. Now, if you're dealing with any kind of digestive problem, you may have an issue with leafy greens because of uh, leafy greens require bacteria to break down some of that fiber. If you don't break it down correctly, you may not feel good after leafy greens. And veggie juices can help. In fact, a leafy green veggie juice is one of the all-time great supplements for folks who don't want to get or who have dementia or Alzheimer's disease because of its, uh, the wonderful brain benefits that you get from leafy greens. And when you grind them up in a, in, in a Vitamix, when you're making a juice, you make them much easier, much the, uh, the nutrients much easier for the body to access. You get chlorophyll in, and you get phytonutrients. You get... Uh, uh, vitamin C, vitamin A, a certain amount of carotenes, not vitamin A, but beta carotene. In green leafy vegetables, you get iron, you get nitrogen, you get fiber. Just amazing, amazing supplements. Much more than rabbit food. Although, you do need to make sure that the microbiome, the universe of bacteria in the intestine, in your intest uh, and intestinal health in general, uh, is, uh, is firing on all cylinders. At the same time, we learn from uh, the University of Minnesota Public School of Health, this was published yesterday as well, there's still no proven way to prevent Alzheimer's. Quote, medical science has failed to prove that any treatment, therapy, or brain exercise can help prevent dementia such as Alzheimer's disease. An extensive new review has concluded. That's because Alzheimer's disease and dementias are nothing more than degeneration of the brain that's following bad living. Period. That's just how it is. It's a deterioration of the brain. It doesn't take a rocket scientist or a doctor to understand this. It's just a deterioration of the brain the way arthritis is a deterioration of the joints. And so while they say there's no proven way to prevent Alzheimer's, clearly just building the body up, if you have a degenerative condition, just supporting regeneration, building the body up, is going to be your strategy for preventing or reversing it. And that's what you do for Alzheimer's. You nutriate the body. You make sure you're pounding the nutrition, especially fat-soluble nutrients, but also electrolytes and B vitamins and vitamin C, just nutrition in general. This is how you deal with dementia. If you know anybody in a nursing home, 
uh, even if they don't have dementia, if they're just for slightly forgetful or su starting to suffer from some of the cognitive de deficits that are associated with old age, get them on a nutritional supplement program. Get them on the BTT. Have start using bone soup, bone broth protein, vitamin C, B complex, veggie juices. There's so many different things you could do, and you'll notice results quickly. Make sure you restrict the sugar or, or limit the sugar. Avoid digestive health issues and support the gut. Where have you heard this before? It's the same thing we all have to do. Taking care of the brain, taking care of the body, allowing, us to, allowing the body to age gracefully. We're all going to age, but we want to age gracefully. We don't want to deteriorate and fall apart. We want to we slow down our inevitable. Demise is, in, is inevitable, but you want to slow down. You are slow down the demise. The way you do it is the way you do anything else in terms of health. Out with the bad, in with the good. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Time to hit the phones. Let's go to Lydia, who's been holding on for quite a while here. Good morning, Lydia. How you doing? Hi, Ben. Hey, hey. So I um, have questions for you. Um, yeah? A, a few of them. Okay. <laughs> a few. Um, I'd like to... First, ask you about magnesium. I love um, the stuff. Me too. I can't believe what a difference it does for me. But I, I don't really have a particular brand or type of, you know, like an Orotate or, you know, mm -hmm. what type of, to which one to use. And I'd really like to get a one that I know I'm doing the right, well, one that I feel better about. Let me put it well, that way. Well, there's, <laughs> there's, se there's several ways to go. You can go liquid magnesium, which I like. That's the Beyond Osteo FX. That'll okay. give you some nice quick results. You can also go chelate. With minerals, chelation, when a, a mineral is chelated, that means it's attached to something that the body recognizes, and so it's uh -huh. more easy to assimilate. So orotate, usually it's going to be an amino acid or amino acid-like substance like uh, orotates or glycinates uh, that are, or picolinates. That uh, these are, uh, there's no magnesium picolinate, though. There's magnesium orotate, no. magnesium glycinate, uh, magnesium aspartate. Uh, those are the main chelated forms of magnesium. Uh, I personally use ke uh, chelated magnesium. That's, that's what I would do in addition to the Beyond OsteoFX. Those are my two favorite sources of magnesium, um, chelated and then liquid. I, can you say what type of brand? The uh, you chelated? know, the brands, are, the brands aren't as, as relevant. A lot of these brands are all made by the same company, and then they just relabel them. You know, uh -huh. there's, not a lot of, there's not a lot of companies that, that make these things, and then different brands will buy them and then relabel them under their own chelated. brands. I would, yeah, I would go chelated and liquid. Those are the two ways. Beyond OsteoFX, that's your liquid, and then chelated like an, like an aspartate or a glycinate. Okay, i got to take a break. I, you, okay. uh, i got to take a commercial. Hang on. We'll, get you, we'll finish up when we come back, okay? All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Got more of your phone calls coming up right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Got lines open, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. Want to remind you to check out our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com. If you have age spots or uh, accelerated aging of the skin, age spots particularly, uh, retinol is just the all-time best skin light, and especially ours, our Truth Retinol 5% gel, because you also get vitamin C, which is probably the second best skin lightener that you can use. If you go to the doctor and try to get a skin lightening product, more than likely it's going to be hydroquinone, which is unstable, very toxic stuff. Retinol is non-toxic. Not only is it non-toxic, but it's anti-aging. It's nutritional. And in conjunction with vitamin C, it makes a, our Truth Retinol 5% gel makes a powerful skin lightening product. All our Truth Treatment products are free delivery for the, uh, the month, free shipping for the month of December. And, uh, and they're up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. We're talking to Lydia in Ohio about magnesium. You had, did you have something else? Did that make sense about magnesium? The chelates. Yeah, sort of I'm, I'm going to probably go with the OsteoFX right now. Um, that's chelated, right? No, that's not a chelated, but it's a liquid. Actually, oh, okay. I don't well, think it's chelated. No, it's not. I bought chelated. the powder, but I'm going to make it a liquid. Is that the same? I, I have, you know, I don't think it is, but I have to check. I can't answer that question. I don't. All right, that's okay. I'll, 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 it's what I got now. I'll take it anyway. <laughs> okay. Are okay. you are you a Longevity distributor? Uh, yes. Oh, go cool. and you definitely should do the Beyond Osteo. I would then I would do the Beyond Osteo for sure. Uh, the the chelate's good too, though. So you know who I am. I'm 
Lydia from California. Slash oh, Ohio. I was going to ask you if you were Lydia from California, but you're now Lydia from Ohio. Yeah, and thank you for the shipment up so quickly on the your truth treatment stuff. I love it. Love it. Awesome. I'm Which one happy. did you get? Which one did you get? I got the vitamin C and the balm right now. Okay, good. And you're the, you mean the serum and the balm or the omega six? Yeah, the serum. serum. I'm sorry, serum yeah. and the balm. And you're using just a small amount every day. Yeah. Yep. Morning Time. and night. Right. And you, isn't it amazing how how far it goes? A couple of drops go, or tiny little yeah. I I, go, I use more than you click. I just feel oh. better about it right now. Maybe you, I feel like the need. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, but I, I use you know how, a good amount. Would how long has it been? Well, I've been using it for. Um, well, I just got your shipment, the new one, but I've been using the the sample for oh. um, you know like a month. That lasts a long time. The sample, the sample like, does. I know. I know. Yeah, I got to yeah. figure out what to do about that because the sample's like a product. Well, it, it's good. It's it's okay because p- people could use it in their travel bags. <laughs> That's so, very nice. Good point. Good point. So, anyway, so what's going on? Uh, yeah, what's two going other on? questions that are really yeah. important to me. Um, it's about my mom. She's what motivated me to call. But um, but but I want to still ask about myself. I mean, just one more thing about me, and then I'll go to her. Okay. I just want you to know how much I appreciate you. Your show has been awesome lately. I mean, the last few weeks has just been just. I can't wait oh, every day to hear your show. So you. I just wanted you to know that that you're just doing wonderful. Thank and you, um, the other thing is is that um, I, I you know you've been talking about ketogenic diet for years. I mean you, I learned right. about it for the first long time ago, but I never really grasped it. And I'm and and I've been saying this year I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And it's like I tr- I try to learn about it like on the internet. I mean, but I don't. If you have any kind of book or anything you could recommend, there's real me. the best. Well, get get a book called Keto Clarity. Real simple, easy to read. Uh, but the simple a ketogenic diet is just three things that you got to remember. Okay. Okay. Number right. one. Number one, and most important, low calorie. It's a calorie restriction diet. You've okay. got to keep your calories down. You can't go crazy. And calorie restriction by itself is a powerful anti-aging and health tool. Just eating less. Eating is a young I, man's I game. Uh-huh, Eating's uh-huh. for kids. Okay? Eating's not that for adults. I got adult. down. I, I understand that. Okay, okay good. Else? The second thing is low uh, carbohydrate. Very right. low. Very, very right. low carbohydrate. No and carbs. Then the thir- yeah. No carbs. And then the third thing is a high percentage of your calories coming from fat. Right. So you that want to do lots of confuses me. That's you, the part that percentage of okay. calories. So if you're down to 1,200 calories, you want a thousand of those calories to come from fat. Wow. Right now, you can't just eat <laughs> spoons of fat, obviously. So you're going to have no. to kind of. There's going to be a judgment there because foods will have combinations of fat and protein. So select foods like eggs and fish. Okay. Foods that have a high proportion, a, a lot of fat, a lot of protein, and very little carbs. Eggs, fish, your meat or eat your meat, and then fill everything up with veggies, and then eat um, small amounts of fruit. I've been really believing in that intermittent fasting uh, yes. stuff. I mean, do you do you do that yourself? Yes, of course. I, I absolutely so. do. I've been doing it for years. Yeah, intermittent anyway. fasting is a way to generate ketones. It's ketogenic. When you say ketogenic, we mean generating ketones, making right. ketones. Ketones are energy bombs. Mm-hmm. You just think of them as nuclear bombs of energy. Think of uh, sugar as a conventional bomb, like it has explosive power of a regular bomb. Ketones are nuclear bombs. So you have much, I don't know if that's a very good metaphor, actually, but <laughs> okay. I should come up with a better one. But it's, ketones generate lots more power. They're mega engines. They're like a rocket engine compared to a, a, a motorcycle engine. Yeah, you, get engine right. you, get, you get energy from sugar, I, absolutely, but it's more like a motorcycle's energy, so you've got to have a lot of motorcycle engines. But with ketones, you get like a rocket ship, it, like a rocket engine. You get huge yeah, amounts of energy, awesome. and awesome. that's why you want to generate as much energy from ketones, and then you don't get as much waste. Go right, burn some right. sugar in a pan and watch what happens, and, you'll, and then burn some butter in a uh, it's just pure oil in a pan, and you'll notice that the oil burns much more cleanly than the, than the sugar. The sugar is sticky hmm. and, and gooky, hmm. and, and right. it just leaves crap, and that's called in the body, that's, that crap that's on your pan when you burn sugar is called glycation. And that's okay. part of aging and part of bodily breakdown and part of deterioration. You don't get that kind of deterioration when you burn fat. Got fat it. burns cleanly. Yeah. It's more high energy. And when you generate ketones, you're generating, you're getting more energy from fat, basically. That's basically okay. what's happening. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for that. I, I really, that's what my focus is for myself. But now getting you know. back to my mom. Okay. This, like I said, this is why I'm calling is that I need to get her on a supplement where because she's not she doesn't like to take supplements she's and i just wanted to tell you that get her on the, she's yeah. before you tell me i mean you know btt you know, is what i'm gonna tell you things. 
I, I, I do know, but I got I, I want to give you a little more info because she's been on a stellazine type of product. Uh, 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 Does she have dementia? No, she just Psychosis? has had mental problems her whole life. For 40 years, she's been on it, and now she's 40 on 40 years, she's been on stellazine? Yeah, yeah, but trilopazine. Does she have a? Does she have the movement disorder thing? Does she ticks and stuff like that? She has, she has mental problems and always has for a long time, and she's doing really good right now because she's taking it three times a day, three, three three milligrams a day. I got to get. I want to get to a bunch more calls, and this is a really complicated question. So you got to send me. You got to call me or send me an email. But just real quickly, get her on the BTT. Get her on the omega fats. Have her doing veggie juices all day long, bone broth, chicken soup made with the real bones, you know, bone broth, and bone right. broth protein, lots of uh-huh. eggs and lots of fish. If you want to throw okay. something else in there, seaweed and seaweed and yeast and wheat germ, nutritional yeast and wheat germ and seaweed. And, and why don't you contact me uh, by uh-huh. email or phone, and I'll get you yeah. some more information. I, got, I want to get a couple more calls. No, I hear you. Okay, thank you so much. Great. Thank keep you. up. Keep your great work. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks, Lydia. Take care. Okay, John in Kansas. What's going on, my friend? Yeah, Ben, thanks for taking my call. Um, yes. My wife and I have a, a friend of ours that's come to us with a, a rash that's developed on the torso just to the right of the right side of the hip. Out of the middle of nowhere? Yeah. Rash out of the yeah. middle of nowhere? All right, two things when you get skin rashes. I'm gonna, I, I hate to go quick, but I'm running out of time. I want to get to a couple more calls. Here's a couple things for skin rashes, okay? The skin is a defensive organ, has many roles to play, but one of its main, maybe its most important role is as defense, uh, it is in the defense of the body. So when you have a rash, you have some kind of toxicity or allergen that has gotten into the system, spontaneous rashes. Now you can have them, they, it could be related to something on top, like a topical rash, but unlike, most of the time it's something that's getting into the blood. Now it could be drugs, it could be some kind of food, it, it, could, it could be something that she's ingested in the way of a, a, an excipient in a nutritional supplement. Something is getting into the body. Now, if it happens in conjunction with autoimmune diseases or other bodily breakdowns, then you have to address those. But assuming that it just came in out of the blue, she was, everything was fine, all of a sudden she got a rash, look for something that's entering into the bloodstream, mostly ingested through, uh, through the mouth, as in drugs or as in foods or as in excipients and uh, nutritional supplements, that kind of thing. All right, I'm going okay, to, I want to get, go ahead, I'm sorry. Painful, uh, watery blisters. Oh, uh, that same idea, although that's much more significant than just a rash. Are you saying for this, for this lady? Yeah, and it's spreading. Uh, John, you got to call me back tomorrow because that's, that is, that's a little bit more complicated, but I would be looking for something that's activating the immune system. Okay, I, I apologize, I, I want to get one more call in and uh, we are out of time. All right, uh, Truth Raider, I hate to do, I want, tried to get to you earlier, but... Uh, that's just how it goes on the on the bright side, my friend. What's going on? Real quick, you got about thirty seconds. Truth or tips? I'll have to tell you tomorrow. Truth or tips? Good for the holidays. Okay, you'll let us know tomorrow. Thanks, Truth Raider. Appreciate it. All right, time goes by very, very quickly on the bright side, and uh, that's just how it is. We only get an hour a day. Please try to call in early. I will get you first up, John. And I apologize that I, that I had to disconnect. And if I ever leave you on hold, please send an email to ben at ksco.com with your phone number. Give me a few days, and I'll get back to you. And that's it for today. Please check out our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com, all the longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. We'll continue talking fluoride, fluoride toxicity, and also about a very interesting structure in the brain that is especially sensitive to the damaging effects of fluoride. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.